One, two, three, coming close. Five, six, seven. Wrong pull. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five. Second row pull. One, two, three. Twist, twist, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Keep down. One, two, three. Just to come to close come position. To close end. We're gonna lift from here. On one. And he's keeping the arm straight. I'm always giving him opposite pressure. We're gonna grab the top so we'll pull in from the rope pull. Two. And we're gonna prepare. Three first. Ground yourself by bending your knees for both uh, leaders and followers. And then from this three point, we then do the twist. Four. You want to make sure from the three gentlemen, your chest is prepped slightly to the right, and you squeeze to give enough contact so that you can give her the energy. And you want to accelerate and stop suddenly to make sure that it's a sharp movement, and then she has the energy to lift. For the ladies, you're trying not to over-rotate. You are pivoting on your right foot. If you have enough energy, you can lift the leg. If you don't have enough energy, you can keep your left leg down. Either way is fine. What you must make sure not to do is to misinterpret this as necessarily a dip. Because it will only be a dip if he changes the angle of the frame. If he keeps it horizontal, you don't need to come right. So now we're going to twist back the other way. Same technique. Make it uh, an acceleration to a sudden stop and untwist your body. On the five. Five. Ladies, for you, you are just going to lift the heel of your right foot. So from here, as you twist, you lift and put your left foot down when you uh, detach from him a bit. Now, here's the really key for musicality. You we want to hold the six. Five. Six. Then the body weight. Six is your chance to prep her backwards so that she knows it's going to be a forward way. To prep her backwards, you want to expand your frame back slightly and also indent your own chest. So ladies, you're trying to follow this connection with your left shoulder blade. So as she goes back, I try to chase it, so I indent my chest as well. As we do the wave, he's going to change his height. So gentlemen, you want to straighten your knees, which is our signal for the follows, to bring our feet together and straighten our legs. So what happens is that even though after the five we twist, our knees are kind of interlocked. When I stand up with the body wave, our knees straighten. That gives us space. It tells the ladies that we're done with the body movement to carry on. Basic. One, two, three, five, six, Here. seven, eight. You want your frame to be trapezium shape for both of you, and your elbows just in front of the line of your shoulders, so you don't want to be here or here. Okay. We're going to do another rope delante, this time with both hands open, open hold. One, two, three. Twist to change your angle. Ladies, something is happening, so I would probably not close my feet, I'm going to mirror him, but if you do tap, it's okay. What makes that happen is that if I don't do anything, one, two, three, Four. Everything's low and relaxed. The ladies will be very natural to keep their basic. But as a leader, I'm telling them, giving them a signal and alarm. One, two, three. Oh, so he's frame. He's extended his chest. And I don't actually relax. If I relax in, I don't relax. She relax. I'm actually holding her out there. So there's uh, some compression here. To keep her foot out. Now, the next movement on the five, gentlemen, we're going to step back with our right foot. Make five. sure you cross cleanly so she will feel the twist. That means that your right arm is going to very gently move towards you, but that's because you're stepping back with your right foot. Notice that Yogi is not contracting his elbow to pull me. He's doing this by moving his body back. So, bad example. Good example. Okay, five. Six, you need to do the same thing on with your left side. Open again. That will make the lady do the two crosses. 
One, two, alarm. Five, six. On the seven is when the ladies are going to do a quick turn. Seven. We're going to change our hand hold into a very quick C hold. Ladies will be prepped to the right so you can turn to your left. Gentlemen, to be here by seven, you need to start thinking about changing before seven, around six. And finally, ladies, you're on your left foot. You have to trust the gentleman is able to do a quick spin on you. Hold on your left foot and turn. Make sure that you're holding down with your lats to keep your shoulders down, keep your core and your legs engaged. I don't push off with my right foot. I don't add energy that much. Gentlemen, how to catch her when she's turning in. You're looking for her back. Place your right hand on her back. Left hand, take it down to your side so that she's got something to hang on to in case she's going to fall. And now she's in a very nice, safe hold. And then gently squat on one. Ladies, you only need to go down as far as you're comfortable. Gentlemen, if she stops bending her knees, don't push it. She might have a bad knee. Mm -hmm. So, second.